time I hear this song, it makes me want to just say, that's Greg Billings and the Stranger Band. Greg Billings Band, look him up, find him. Man, his stuff is so good. It'll put you in the mood if you are not there. If you want to get there, turn on Greg Billings, man. That's incredible. We appreciate letting him or him letting us use uh, his music here on the American Car Classics radio program. So um, we came back from break and we had some funny stuff. And technical again, it was di- lost because of difficult. technology was gone. Um, we, this was Valentine's Technology's Day so uh, was, was yesterday. Uh, Tiana, who I guess she texted something. to. Now, I don't know if she knows that, Tiana, we use our phone, my phone here for one of the cameras. So uh-huh. you texted something earlier and yeah. Bryce saw it uh-huh. and I have not. And it might have something to do weird with facial what was going on later. I don't really know, but I'm going to find out what you texted earlier and uh, when Bryce shares it with me. Anyway, I, I got my Valentine's Day present from Tiana was a roll of toilet paper that says, I love the shit out of you. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. All right. So um, we're going to do a little bit of uh, Jeopardy. Is that about right, B. Rice? That, that is correct. Oh, boy. Jeopardy. You've got some questions for us that... Uh, that Tiana printed out probably two months ago. Uh, I never saw them or anything else, but uh, I wouldn't have remembered it by now anyway. So, um, I said, go ahead, read one. Yeah. What do you got? All right, question number one. Well, sorry. Answer number one. Oh, Answer number oh one. that's right. In the form of a question. No bull for much of the 90s. This Ford sedan was the best-selling car in America. Taurus. Ford Taurus. Yeah, no bull. Yeah. That wasn't that hard. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, what is our, beers, our beer system says, <laughs> what, what is what the Ford Taurus? Taurus? So there Steve Sharman will get that right. Okay. Huh? Go ahead. You didn't do it in the form of a question. You have to say, what he's is giving the us Ford the answers. Taurus? Oh. Yeah. What the fuck is that? He doesn't watch Jeopardy. I don't watch TV. <laughs> he doesn't TV. watch TV. He don't have TV here. <laughs> I haven't watched TV in two years, man. Wow. Well, I can't say that. When we were at the restaurant, I looked at the weather one. Oh, that's right. Day. Yeah. That's I get it. What's the next one? Well, we watched a little bit about the earthquake last week. I sent him some Elmo I was, shit. My back was facing that. You guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. The next question is. <laughs> the next answer What is, is the question? Is it smoking over there real bad? That's what BMW stands for. Uh, Bavarian Motor Works. Is that right? Bavar- no. Bavarian? Well, you have to say what. The answer oh, what is, is Bavarian big Mexican woman. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is the Bavarian Motor Works, right? It's Bavarian. It's Bavarian. Okay. Motor Works. What is bring more wallet? I've I always heard thought some people British, say I was thought it was British motor company for British up. Motor Works, and these are people that are clearly uninformed. Until it's too okay. nice. broke something, something, something. <laughs> <laughs> That's mechanic lingo. God. This top of the line caddy convertible was designed for the company's 1952 golden anniversary. Which is a sedan to bill. Incorrect. What is the Cadillac Eldorado? Steve wins. There right. you go. Man, you cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get mad because I knew one and you didn't. Uh, son of a biscuit eater. No, you got two, bro, because I didn't say the right thing. With the GT version named one of Car and Driver's 10 best for 2012, this is the only Ford to receive that honor seven times. You got to be the Mustang. What is the Mustang? What is the GT350? What is the Mike's Mustang? Mike's got it. Okay. Yeah. I was going to go back to the Taurus again, but that would have been kind of dumb. All right, and that's all we got. They just had oh, that's the, it. Taurus okay. had the SHO, right? The, yeah. yeah, the show, right. Yeah. Yeah, you guys ever seen that one. show, The Driver? No. Yes, The Driver, yes. You, you see that kid in the, the uh, SHO? And yeah. He won more of them than all of them? Yeah. Me and my SHO, we're going to whip your ass. I was what? This thing's got an SHO in it? And I was like, sure enough, he did. He won three. Wow. So wow. someone drilled him in the quarter panel so hard they broke the wheel off the what car. What GM car was that that had the four overhead, the four cams overhead that was uh like a 4.2 liter general motor Pon- something? pontiac had a, a 3.4 the Pon- quad four the 3.4 no there was one that was like to do a timing belt on or something was just insane oh the quad four yeah the quad four. yeah driven off the time well, that's a four cylinder yeah yeah that's different too this was in a i have to do a little research i thought pontiac had an overhead cam engine because i think one of the guys at the car show board i think it was a gto at, at the uh, rod run yeah. He had a, 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 yeah, the inline a G- six on. Inline six overhead okay. cam engine okay. yeah. and a Pontiac GTO. Oh, well, you remember back in the day, it was the, they came in other cars too, but I remember the Chevy Luminous. It was the, the Lumina. Yeah. The, the GT30, G34. Front wheel drive, but it had four cam, cam Four cams, and it had a timing belt. And to do it, I just remember, was oh, like, yeah. that, that, that goes right next to the Fiero V6 that I had to do the clutch on. 
Those two uh, just stick in my head. You haven't done a water pump yet on the, what is it, the three fives or the two sevens? Everybody missed diagnosis for bad head gaskets on the Fords? Yeah, you take the motor out due to the water pump, and the water pump is in the center of the engine. So when the weep hole goes bad, it dumps the coolant into the engine. Oh, jeez. So this is, this is uh, you're dropping out the bottom <laughs> of the car. Yeah. So you're taking transmission, cradle, and everything else just coming out. It's like a 16-hour water, 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 water pump. Damn, boy. 16-hour water pump. Yep, you gotta take the motor and train. You gotta come out from the bottom of the car, and I've tried to cheat and do them inside the car. You can't do it. You can't pull the water pump out, and you can't lift the motor high enough or low enough to pull the water pump out. But I had a couple of them. Oh, it's a blown head gasket. And so they'll do that just for change the water pump while you're out. Yeah, and I'm be like, oh, and I've seen people really change the head gaskets, and uh, hey, it's still doing it. You can change the water pump. Who would? No so shot. There's a lot of people right. that like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, Bryce, what kind of time we got? You got five minutes. Great. Um, we'll go right into um, our, our Mecham 4 for the, for the week. Hmm. I'm uh, collecting car prices from you guys so that I can go to, go to Glendale, Arizona to um, uh, bid on some cars and, and become rich in this market. Uh, Mecham is coming to Glendale, Arizona from March 28th to April 1st. They're saying they're going to have 2,000 cars and trucks. And um, I've got, I picked out four more. They're all going to run on the Saturday. They're only there for... Four days. So they're going to run Saturday. So we would call that the prime day as the last day. I think it's Sunday in the auction. Is it maybe Sunday? I don't know. I, I, didn't Saturday. Think the first is. I think it's probably Saturday. So, yeah. Bryce, if you're ready for that, the first one, and I don't have glasses on. I'm going to really suck. I'm going to pass this off to Todd because he's got glasses on. Looks like a Bronco. Yeah. Here you go, Todd. All right, everybody. The first one is uh, lot number uh, R514 as he gets acclimated. It's a 1974 Ford Bronco. It does say it has a coyote in it. Wow. This thing, two-year comprehensive frame off restoration, rotisserie restoration, three-inch suspension lift, four-wheel drive, 5.0-liter Ford Racing Coyote Crate V8 engine, six-speed, six, uh, 6R80 automatic transmission, Atlas two-speed twin stick sh- transfers. <laughs> All right. Wow. Go, ahead, go ahead and look at this here, Todd. Didn't we see this That one? thing just no. barely fits in there, huh? Well, did, at another auction, Steve? I mean, like it went from auction to auction? I'm pretty I, sure it's I, I there. Wasn't wasn't it that yeah, like yeah. kissing me? Because okay. we looked at that and it went on the yeah. bid block and the bid went on. Yeah, that, yeah. that, that black '69 that was that was at Mecham is here now as well. Too. All right, yeah. I can tell you right now. I'm gonna make, That's the one. I'm gonna place my bid on that right there. Is gonna be 120. Yeah, at least. Nope, nope. All right, nope. Todd's in at 120. The bid went on at 125 on that, didn't it? That yeah. was the Sunday we were all sitting down in the chair. Yeah. Uh, it might have been. Steve, what do you think? Well, the bid take, went on. I'm pretty sure take. at 125, the bid went on and they shipped it out. So that thing's got to go for to sell it. It's got to be 140. I'd probably think. Yeah. Unless the guy's going to dump it, but that's the the one that was yeah, towards the end of the day. Like it. I yeah, thought it was. That's yeah, it. yeah, I think it had yeah. the Mustang. Yeah, the I know that's it for yeah, a fact. Yeah. Steve's going at 140. I'm going to go 150. I'll say 135. Okay. I know you can't build. I'm, I got a customer that bought one, and he's paid 150 for it. Yeah. All right. This is lot number R526. This is a 1941 Willys Custom yeah. uh, pickup truck. This has a 502 cubic inch engine with a 510 horsepower rated. Yeah. So um, we got that one. Bryce is well. Oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Like the yeah. color. It is a pretty color, yeah. and that's not really doing it justice because it really did kind of look good. Yeah. No chop on that. No. Yeah. That's good. It's a nice rake. The tires are way up in those wheel wells. So I guess, I guess they have the <clears throat> the body below the frame on that one to make it lower like Certainly that? could. Yeah. Cut into, yeah. Yeah, it could. Poof. The floor go away. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Put some one of a kind and build. In. She is known as excessive. Yeah. That's, that's a, a nice looking truck. Two horned up in there. I'd say that's probably going to go in, I'd say like 95. This says says six point five year four hundred thousand dollar build completed in two thousand four by Avalon Body Shop in Richardsville, Iowa. So somewhere in Iowa, a shop got rich as hell. Yeah, doing a four hundred thousand dollar. See, that's like, not like a about dent it. in the front there, don't it? On the right, on the other side of the hood. Hood, yeah. Yeah, because the light was shining where it was dark. Yeah, it looked uh, like there was a big dent well, in the front. Now, I, I met a photographer for uh, these guys who go out and do this stuff, and um, like you did with uh, Bring a Trailer, and uh, that might just be some lighting that they have on there. Oh, okay. But, but uh, yeah. All right, well, where do we think we're at? Look, $400,000. Yeah, I'd say 95. Wow. See, I'll tell you right there, see how the tires are in the wheel well so bad? Yeah. And then look right there. Looks stupid as shit. Yeah, the it wheel, doesn't look right. The wheels are so far in. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that. 
with I'm how far that front wheel is. I'm going to say 120. Yeah. So that the wheels are so far in because it's so low yeah. and so it can turn. Yeah. yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, if it's out too far, it would turn and hit. It would hit. Right. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, that, that looks like dense. No, that's a reflection. Yeah. You can see it on the other side. It's just the way it's hitting. Um, I think I'll go for 125. Todd? Uh, 140. Yeah, see, there. 140. All right, Bryce, when do you go break? We're going to take a break. We're going to come right back, and uh, we'll pick this up as soon as we get back, huh? Yeah. Stay Place tuned. Out. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is our final segment here today. We sure do appreciate you all staying tuned in or jumping in as you do uh, to uh, hang out with us for a little while. So we're in the middle of doing a little bit of Meekum stuff. We're going to give, uh, what, two more real quick. This is lot number S72, 1968 Chevy Caprice. This thing says it has 4,420 original miles. It has a 327 cubic inch engine. What else has it got, Todd? What'd you say, Han? Smoke <laughs> Dude, you done read it all. What the hell do I need to read? Is that it? Is that all it has? A 327? Uh, code P, Seafrost Green, Silver Seafrost Interior. Green. Wow. Uh, 327, air conditioning, AM radio. Look at that shag carpet, yeah, boy. Look at that, that huh? thing, huh? Woo! A little underpowered with a 327. Yeah. yeah, for a big boat, right? Yeah. yeah. But I'd take it. Man, it's not me. Oh, yeah, it's got it's, them comfortable make love seats. That, that's, that's made for. <laughs> that's made for the slow cruise. I tell you, it's really nice. That's good for that moonshine and run. Original, anyways, <laughs> original. My well, car looks clean. Right, so, what do you think? I'm going to go 40. 40? <laughs> Wasn't that a four door? No, nope. that's a two door. Two it's door? A two door. Yeah. Uh, With 4,400 original miles. Who went 40? Wow, it I looks did. really good. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go more than that. Ooh, sixty. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Damn, bro! I ain't letting you get my number. I'm gonna say thirty-two. Oh, I'm going low. Yeah, I'm going fifty-five. He done stole six. He can't drive fifty-five. All right, Bryce. Our last one there is gonna be well, lot number S seventy-eight. Huh? Some old guy's gonna, want huh? some this, old guy's gonna want relive his life in that. Yeah. This is a nineteen sixty-nine Pontiac GTO. Uh, this is in, in uh, favor of Keith McDonald. I uh, wanted to bring that up. Who's that? The, Who? The, the, he's a guy that we've known for a while that's been around. Big he, Pontiac. He owns, got a 400. Uh, heaven's best uh, carpet cleaning. Big small block. What do you got? 350 got, horsepower. The big small block. It's got a big, big small so block. It's got a 400 in it? In it? Yeah. yeah, it's got a 400. 350 horse, four, four. speed? Uh, 350 the, horsepower, the, four speed. Yeah. Oh, it's a Hearst special. Oh, it is? That's, yeah. That's the funky looking yeah. GTOs. Yeah. That's yeah, like the one you got at the shop. No. That's beautiful, man. It? No. Yeah, it's the same body style, ain't it? Yeah, it is, bro. Dude, you got to quit sniffing the paint fumes, bro. <laughs> I, really I got a 69 GTO at the shop. Doesn't right. look like that. Doesn't look like that. Well, no. this is 68. That's the 69 Pontiac GTO. 68. I thought it was a 7. It has the same. No, this is 69. Oh, 69? It has to be the same body style as that. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be. Um, mm -hmm. the, the front. The box. color's throwing you off. I had. Well, it is going to throw you off because the one that's at the shop's got a high dollar paint job on it. Okay. All right, well... Uh, it doesn't have those taillights or those headlights. Who? No, no, that's different. Okay, so yeah. some stuff's been changed out. But the nose, you and know... And 10-bolt rear. Very similar. Mm. Yeah. It's got highway headlights at the one at the shop, I thought. Oh, my God, look at that. What were you yeah. jumping in on this, Mike? You got an idea? Uh, 48. Wow. I'm going to go 38. Oh, it's a good oh guy's my award God. win. At well, there you go. go. Just, uh, 10 grand right, right there. Yep. <laughs> got a sticker on it. 52. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was going fifty two five or something. <laughs> you still can't just like on uh, prices right. You can go a dollar more. Well, we got thirty eight fifty two. Yeah, because if you're 40, if it's 48. higher, you get it. If it's lower, I get it. <laughs> For some reason, it doesn't look right. I'm gonna I, don't, go, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go it's the wheels, dude. Fifty seven five. Is it a real man? Is it a real? A little breathing. Is that a real GTO? 
Well, it's saying it's a goodies award winner, man. So I, I know that's I think, mean it's a real GTO. But they don't that, hold to anything. The wheels aren't original. It just doesn't. The car doesn't no, look right. new Well, and yeah. Steve's saying the headlights are different and everything else. It didn't so. look right to me. I don't know. That's a resto mark, right. man. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, man. All right, well, That's this is going to be coming up it. at uh, at Meekum's show in Glendale, Arizona in March. So we're going to keep an eye on that and appreciate everybody playing along, and we'll see what happens. And what do you got, some tech talk questions? You yeah, got? I got, a, I got a, a two of them in this week. So uh, go ahead. Uh, well, I've got to clean up from this, too. In the middle Anybody check your phones? Got time for that. Anybody check Anybody what? Check mine. Oh, Checking our check. phones. Make sure Keith ain't calling in. Give us the listen. right. For- no. Uh, this one here, my name is Rick Baker. I live in Jacksonville, Florida. I have a 71 Cuda that has lots of work done to it, performance and custom suspension. I have gone to bigger wheels and tires than the factory, uh, any sp- my, and my speedometer is off now by a good bit. What are my options on fixing this problem? I'll go back to smaller wheels and tires. Well, you just got There's always that one guy. Yeah, always one guy. <laughs> always. It's always Kenny. <laughs> No, there's, they, I'm sure they make it's a, a different gear. Yeah. yeah, it's a gear that you well, I know GM does. Yeah, they do the same thing on transmission. There's got to be a way to change them. Yep. Speed odometer gear, all that stuff on the Chrysler. It's the same thing. Okay. You just got to count the teeth, I figure mean, out what you got. Is it? I mean, is it that far off? He said it's off by a good bit. Yeah. Well, listen, you What's take a good car, bit? that car probably had 215s on, on it. On the guy that. probably right. put a 275 on it. Right. With a bigger wheel, so keeping a bigger side while still. The resto mod, the man, the, the speedometer is right. way off. Well, he said <laughs> it's, got, it's got lots of work done to it. So uh, it's just easy as changing a gear in the transmission. Yeah, probably. Yeah. The well, they make the kits for them. Yeah, well, you had a 73. I don't know if you ever played with whatever. I don't know much about that. That would or, be a 727 uh, transmission. Is that what that would be? Does he have um, what, the gear gear digital gauges? Oh, yeah. Because yeah, you could change. You set it based off of right, the, driving yeah. down the road on them, right? Yep. I mean, yeah, that's you kind of what it. it did. Okay. On, yeah. So if he has a digital gauge package, then maybe he could be he can, have not had it calibrated or something set right. Yeah, yeah he can do it himself. Okay. But, uh, and also, too, or, we don't even know if it's got a Hemi in it. They could have yeah, yeah, who, put a newer motor in it, too, and then it's tuned in it. through the um, uh, okay, computer. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah. So uh, if you don't have, like, the code digital gauges, you can get them. Or you can Change try to gear. start changing gears because yeah. uh, right, you know, there's so many different gears, and to get you in the ballpark, you know, you're probably not going to be 100. percent But no, you, but you can get close. You could get close, a know. lot closer. Right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Nowadays, you can take your phone with your navigation app on there and put in your holder, and it tells you the speed limit at least on most all the roads, and it by satellite tells you how fast you're going, and uh, so you can use that as a speedometer yeah. if you had to. My orange car's spot on. That rather than GPS, I was impressed. I was like, no. Which yeah. which orange car is that of yours? The old 69. Oh, the one you used to have. Mm-hmm. Did yeah. you have Dakota gauges? Yeah, it had the Dakota uh, <laughs> Classics. Yeah, you can just set them. You like can just the, set them up like a GPS, those things, right? It tells you yeah, how fast well, you're going. Like yeah. the um, 66 F100 we did. It had that gauge package. It, it looks original, but it's, you know, so right. I don't know if it was Dakota, but you set it basically. Well, Dakota's right got now. little tattletale buttons. You can push everything and it tells you the highest RPM, the highest, the fastest the car. That's went, right. You've yeah. been working on all this stuff now. Uh, yeah. uh, it's actually nice. That's it's good to it's have actually it. really no, easy. Huh? Yeah. Once you, once you, you go take it for up. test drive and somebody can go, and then that, like on Days of Thunder, that red, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Days of, I spun my car to set, uh, 8760. Well, we've, we got that uh, Dodge Viper that came in the other day. Uh, it's going to get a clutch. It's got 20,000 miles on it. It's a 96. And um, I, I said, I said to Chuck, I said, go out there and put the windows up on it. <laughs> <laughs> it don't have no windows. The day I blew the transmission out, that's the day that's <laughs> the highest it went. <laughs> A- Eighty-seven sixty. On what transmission was that? The day we blew the orange car coming home from the oh, Andy show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were you were going up. You went around the corner. And you knew, and then up the hill, you just. I was wound out, and all of a sudden, pow! Wound it. down. Uh oh. Yeah, wound down. And I shifted into fourth, and it, you could feel it chug, and it made it about 100 more feet. And that was it. The uh, other tech talk takes a little while. I don't know how much car stuff, show stuff you have. We, just, well, you, it's, we can just whiz through it, so go ahead. Okay, so uh, the other tech talk question is uh, a doozy. This was uh, good afternoon, guys. Love your show. I know that I could go surf the internet, but I thought, what the hell? And so I'm writing you. That's confidence right there. <laughs> uh, I have no reading on my temperature gauge. If I ground my sending unit, my sending wire, the gauge, the gauge pegs, telling me that my system is integrity is good. I have tried two different temperature sending units. I've even checked the ohms, and I am within specs. Am I going mad? He says, what the hell can I be missing? 
Thanks, Mike. Uh, I wrote him back because no car, no application. I have no idea what we're talking about. Right. And I've done this before and not gotten something back. But this guy came back. So I wrote, so uh, no car type, no engine type or size. So I wrote him back and asked him uh, what kind of car he has, what engine, trans, etc. I asked him, was everything stock or is this a new build or a project? Um, Mike came back. He said, whoa, Kenny, th thanks for actually reading my email and getting back to me. I have a 1974 Chevy C10 two-wheel drive short bed. And I said, of course, it's a two-wheel drive because it's a C10. And um, uh, he says, uh, my drivetrain is a carbureted 454 that has been in the truck for several years. It has, It is not stock, but it is not wicked by any means. Uh, I just had a, my 700 R4 rebuilt, and I am doing electric cooling fan upgrade. I bought the kit with the relay sending unit uh, uh, gauge and everything needed. I put the sender in the back of my intake manifold and had to pull a plug out in order to find a spot to install the sender. My intake is a Edelbrock air gap. I sent this over to Bryce. Um, he says, I put the fan control sensor near the thermostat housing, which you'd want to do, I guess. Um, but there wasn't another port up front for me to install my new gauge center, which means uh, when I looked at this port, he has to have a nipple coming out of that side to go to a heater box or something, right? So he's circulating something there. Um, if this helps, please tell me what I can do or try next. Thanks, Mike. So with this intake, if he... The front is where the thermostat housing is. The back is where the distributor hole is. And if he put it in the back in one of those ports, that's not a cooling port, right? That's what I saw in the intake. There's one intake runner for a cooling system. Is that right? Well, yeah. you got two up there by a thermostat. Yeah. And you got one back there in the – Right left. behind the carburetor, right? Well, well, no, that's nope, a vacuum. That's, vacuum. That's, that's for that's right – But that's the one in team. the right rear. Oh, yeah, right. Aren't yeah, those the back right and there. left rear? Well, that, that should be uh, coolants, but I remember on the old some of the cylinder heads back then they were they're plugged off. They're Intakes blocked. could be blocked yeah. off, right? Yeah. So this is where <clears> I went was that if you don't have that intake manifold because you got those little square pegs that you could put in the back, yeah. yeah. And if you didn't have circulating water, that you could maybe just not getting a reading. Well, on the Chevrolet big block, um, there should be a, um, a water jacket in the side of the head on the driver's side. That's what I was going to say. Next thing, yeah, I think that's where mine was on okay. the side yeah. of the head. Okay, yeah. and that's right. where most of them. That's where they are. All the big blocks. Yeah, that's yeah. where most of your temperature centers go. In right. I've got four of them in the shop right now. That's where they're all located. Yeah. Okay. So okay. maybe maybe move your your sensor there. Yeah, I think he's yeah. in a hole that doesn't have one. Yeah. Yeah. Cylinder head, buddy. Especially okay. if you if you tried this a couple times and it's not worked for. And you. if you can't get one, yeah. If you can't find one in this cylinder head, you got aftermarket cylinder heads. Get you a brass T and put, you know, you can put two sending units in that one hole. Okay, yeah, split them. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hadn't thought about that either. So, very good. Well, thanks, Mike, for uh, Don't writing rush that. Me. That was a nice little something there. That was good. Uh, <laughs> no one got it. <laughs> Mike, we'll go ahead and go ahead and do a um, weekend weather. And yeah, you got two minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, gee, thanks. Well, it's going to be nice this weekend. I think they said 30% chance of rain on Sunday. Sunday we oh, got the not big good on boy. Yeah, it'll be all right. I yeah, think. I think it'll be fine. We, Sunday we got the 19th annual Sebastian Elks Car and Bike Show. Uh, Sunday, February 19th, from 11 to 3. And uh, you guys are judging. You can say that. Yeah. The two of you is a judging. Yeah. Are, are you judging? Or no. Nope. No? Oh, okay. I'm bringing uh, a customer's truck and Lucy out. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's on the the 19th, and then February 26th they're having a Summer Crush. Vineyard is having a show. It's going to be all GM car and truck show, and that's at the, the Summer Crush Vineyard and Winery on 4200 Johnson Road in Fort Pierce. We're not going to tell Tommy Gore about that one because that all GM stuff backfires on him. Tommy. Yeah, he just sold both his cars. Dude, he just messaged me. Steve sold the, the Cuda. He did well. Oh, yeah, he did yeah, well on the Cuda. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he brought yeah. it up there, but Tommy did really well. I mean, he, I Now, is this at the uh, – At the uh, – <laughs> Good – Not not good guys. The – Carlisle. 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 Carlisle in Lakeland. He yeah. sold his uh, Ford. He sold the Mustang. He didn't get what he wanted for the Mustang, but the you know, he was he was but the uh the fair lane, he says, went he, through the roof. Yeah. He did really good on the great. fair lane. Great. Yeah, them fair lanes are Yeah, he's they're said, iffy, you know. They're they gotta be done right. nice. They'll make money. They got nice bodies, you know, that long, nice back yeah. quarter with a square edge and stuff. It's a 
I'm not a Ford guy, but I, I like. No, you're I'm a, not. Oh, you're a Ford guy now. You are. Bullshit. That's right the, there. You're a Ford guy I'm now. And, Ford guy. and he's got a Ford wife too because she bought a f- another one too. That's right. So yeah. now, and then we got the uh, the big show, the 44th annual Antique Auto Show. I was thinking that was bullshit, but that might be the HHR. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> March 18th. Right? <laughs> from I'm 10, a sucker from away. 10 to 4 right. at 3280 Riverside Park. Yeah, you guys are going, right? Yeah, Chevelle, yeah. bro. Yeah. We are all put a Chevelle on there. You know why? We're all sponsored. That's Bill Mars. And uh, we're all judging it's on the 70. That. You know and, why? Uh, you'll be out there with your family, Mike, because yeah, I'll be out the there. You guys, you guys represent. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I, I think huh? we're, we're going to, we got a whole section, Who? I think, Sebastian. Yeah. Muscle Cars got a whole section. I love that. Because uh, we're not going to be judged. We, you know, we're tired of. Yeah, come on out. The Todd Byron's fan club. We got a section out there. Yeah, we've got the Todd Byron fan club. We're going to probably be in the back of the bathroom. <laughs> we do. It grows. All our wearing, our all fan wearing club's t-shirts growing. Say, yeah. where's, where's Todd? Where's Todd? Yeah, those are special t-shirts, yeah. right? I'm so walking away with a clipboard. There's a bunch of stuff going on. Then you still got the Saturday nights at McDonald's down here in Vero yeah. Beach. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Vero Vintage Volkswagen's first Tuesday of every month over here at the Walking Tree Brewery. Uh, second Saturday at Cracker Barrel, Indian River ACA, AACA is doing that. And then the fourth Saturday at CJ Cannons. And we're out of here. Go find us somewhere. Say hello. All right. We appreciate you tuning in. God bless. Mm-hmm.